Hi Aries, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be asking the cards, what awaits for you in love for the week of August 5th to August 11th, 2024? I'm going to take a look at your energy, Aries, and then I'll see the energy of your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. Also, I wanted to say if this reading resonates for you, I will put a link below the video in the description box below. That will take you to the extended reading if you are interested. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings. All right, here we go. Let's see your energy. Spirit angels and guides, please show me the energy of Aries. In regards to love for this week, please. Aries. What's the energy of Aries in regards to love for this week? All right, Aries, so we have the Seven of Cups for you. We also have the Three of Cups, and we have the Eight of Pentacles. At the bottom of the deck, Eight of Cups to the Nine of Cups, and the Ace of Swords with the Eight of Wands. All right, let's see. So some of you might be interested more in your work and focusing on your work, your career, your money, your own personal goals. Uh, you might be more focused on that than on whatever relationship you have going on or whatever connection you have going on in your life. I feel like you're indecisive with the Seven of Cups and the Eight of Cups here. It's like you're indecisive in regards to walking away from something, walking away from someone. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like you're making yourself your main priority or your work, your career, your finances, your goals. I feel like that's what you're making your, your number one priority. Because in regards to love, it's, it's confusing. It's confusing you with the Seven of Cups. It's confusing you and you feel emotionally unstable or emotionally conflicted. And you don't want to feel that way is what I'm noticing here, like... You don't want to deal with that type of angst, that type of stress. So you're pouring a lot of time and energy into yourself and um, into your work is what I'm noticing. Hmm. Okay. Let me go ahead and clarify here a little bit. Spirit, tell me about the Seven of Cups. Some of you have more than one person wanting your attention is also what I'm noticing for some of you. Tell me about the Seven of Cups for Aries and the energy of Aries in regards to love for this week. Five of Cups. Some of you are trying to like um, move on from a past person that broke your heart, that disappointed you. Tell me about the Three of Cups, Spirit, and the energy of Aries. Three of Wands. Some of you are like um, communicating with someone who's long distance, someone who's far away from you. Tell me about the um, Eight of Pentacles, Spirit, please. Four of Wands. Um, so this can be related to a house. Uh, you might be, um, some of you might be fixing up your house or um, buying things for your house. Some of you might be moving. You might be relocating or you, may, you might be planning on moving or relocating. This could also be related to like family. Some of you are like putting, putting more focus on your family.
Now, some of you are just kind of getting your life in order. For some reason, I'm getting that. You're getting your life in order, your own personal life in order. Okay. Let's move on to your person's energy now for the week. Let's see what's going on with them. Here we go. Spirit angels and guys, please show me the energy of the person Aries is connecting to and dealing with in love for this week, please. What is this person's energy towards Aries? What is this person's energy towards Aries? Ooh. Uh-oh, we have the devil here. You might be dealing with a Capricorn, with some of you. We also have King of Pentacles in their energy. We also have here the Ten of Cups in this person's energy. Towards you, Eight of Swords. Three of Pentacles, Two of Swords. And the Magician. Okay. Give me a second here. This kind of bothers me. Um, eight of Wands, Five of Cups, Three of Wands, Four of Wands. I'm just looking over here for a second. Hmm. Is this some sort of X? I feel like there's a new energy here and an old energy here. This person feels like some sort of old energy. It feels like someone from your past. Someone, someone from your past really wants to like reconcile with you. This person is very um, toxic is what I'm noticing with the King of Pentacles and the uh, Devil. Uh, they're very toxic. They're very stuck in their own, stuck in their own ways. They're very fixed in their ways. It's interesting because I feel like this person definitely wants um, a long term relationship with you with the Ten of Cups. They want a they want a happy relationship with you or a stable relationship with you. But there's an there's an element of control here. This person also wants to control you. I also feel like this person has more than one option is what I'm noticing here. So, this person feels a little bit like selfish to me. They're harnessing a lot of selfish energy. They want to pretend like they're in a commitment with you, but in reality, they're not really in a commitment with you. They're not really committed to you. Um, they do kind of keep their options open regardless if, if they're in a stable relationship with you or not. Yeah, I just feel like there's a lot of ego connected to this person. Like, they, they do whatever they want to do, you know, no matter what you say or no matter what type of relationship they have with you. It's like they still do whatever they want to do, you know? They, it, it, they have that type of vibe. That's the vibe I'm getting from them. But I do feel like this person definitely has their eyes set on you. And I'm getting a strong energy of, of this person wanting to manifest with the Magician card, a reconciliation with you. Or like they want to manifest having you back in their life. Though I don't feel like this person has very good um, intentions is what I'm noticing. They don't have very good intentions. Okay, so Aries, I'm going to stop the reading right here and I'm going to continue, I'm sorry, I'm going to continue in the extended reading 
In the extended reading, I will be taking a deeper look at your person. I'm going to see what exactly are their true and real feelings for you. What are their true and real intentions with you for this week? What actions will they take towards you moving forward? And what will the overall outcome be for this relationship? If you're interested, if you're interested, you can follow me there with the link below the video in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.